What up, YouTube? It's your homie. I go by two. And I'm back with another vid, man. And I was just looking at this documentary about winning the lottery, and and watching it, it was like it was crazy, man. People winning all this money, and they blowing through it. So I'm like, I'm like, dang, like, how is this even possible? But a lot, I see a lot of people don't have financial literacy where they don't know how to put money up, save it, invest it wisely. Because some of y'all be saying investing, oh, you need to invest and then that investment go bad, then you just lost a hundred thousand. But some people gamble their money so much, some people gamble their money so much that it's all gone. And you know. I'm just like, why are you even gambling if you sit if you already got money? If you already got money, what you what you going to the casino for to try to make some money? But like I always say, man, when you got money, money don't do nothing but enhance the things, your habits. Just say you you like to drink or you like to smoke, whatever. You like to like smoke smoke weed or whatever like that then to the point it's gonna be like now you now you're gonna be sitting there buying you no know, pounds of weed bags i mean like drinking drinking more more liquor than you can handle being in the club popping bottles at the bottles at the bottles at the bottles you know what i'm saying smoking 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 then you got zips all kind of like this nigga smoking a lot so it's like and, and think about it somebody got a bad habit of spending money and then they get more money let's say they get about two million they like man i'm gonna buy this lamborghini boom i don't know how much this, these lamborghini stuff call is going by then i'm gonna get this lamborghini two hundred thousand boom i'm gonna buy this house five hundred thousand that's seven hundred thousand right there now you just blew half of your, now you just blew more than a million, almost a million. Now you got about like what, 13, 1.3? Make it make sense, you know? So it's like, you, I don't think it's a curse. It's just people win money. They never had that money before. And they don't got the mental mind frame to to sit there and know what to do and not to do. You know, you got that money like that. Some people are like, dang, man, I got this money. They feel like they, they finna do everything they wanna do. Not knowing that when you here in America, when you here in America, you gotta survive, man. You gotta, it, it's survival of the fitness out here. Like you got to have money to survive in America. I don't care what nobody say. You got to have money to survive in America. So it's crazy though. People who had millions of dollars, now they outside holding up a cardboard, homeless. Like, you, I, I don't know. I feel bad for some of them, but not all of them. Like, cause it's like, man, how you blowing through two million, three million? Now you outside holding the cardboard. You made more money than the majority of people in the in the world. And you blew through it. And you want somebody, I don't feel bad for you, to be honest. Like, you blew all through that money. I do not feel bad for somebody who blew through millions of dollars. I don't. They can blame it on, um, oh, I want to raise the, the, the spend money wise. I want to raise the invest. You could literally sit there and not even invest your money and just put your money in the savings, watch over your money, pinch off your money, and you'll have your money. That's what they're not telling y'all. They're just telling y'all to invest, invest. What if this investment go wrong? Then what? Now you out of $100,000. Then, okay, let me try another investment. Or investment. That one don't work. Dang, now you out of 300000 Like, that's the thing they're gambling too. Taking the risk, investing is gambling. You get three million dollars. This, if I got three million dollars, this what I'm gonna do. Three million, I'm gonna put two million in a savings account where it could grow 
off of interest and get that money. And the other million, I'm gonna put up in another account where that is gonna be to where it's gonna be like emergency funds or whatever like that. Or I might put 500,000, but my personal, I put like, I put like 10,000 in my checking and my per in my personal savings, I put like, I say about like 20,000. And then I have a business account but my business account probably had like 300,000. But other than that, I'm not, most, most of that money's gonna be put up. Like, I'm not finna do all that, but it gotta be a horrible feeling. I ain't gonna lie to you, folks. It gotta be a horrible feeling to know you had $3 million and it's gone, because you did it. Nobody else did it, you did. Ain't no accountants took the money, nobody took the money. You did it, you spent that money after money after money. And I know it's a horrible feeling. And you got to live with that for the rest of your life. Because guess what? The rest of your life, all you're going to be doing is trying to chase, trying to do whatever you can to get get that money back. And, and everybody know it's hard to get $3 million, $2 million, $4 million. Shit, it's hard to get damn $10,000. But y'all let me know in the comment section, man, how y'all feel about is winning the lottery a curse. I go by two. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe.